<laughs> you know, I think John's got the right model, which is, uh, you know, he, he talked about uh, creating a great place to work, and, and uh, you know, he, he was the best place to work in Frederick um, County last year. That's my aspiration, and so I'm, I'm going to take my cues from John. I, I think the best thing you can do, I think there's, the best thing you can do as an employer is, is value your workers. I mean, nothing is done without the people, and if you're not creating a place people want to be, then, uh, then you're not going to do well. And so, from my perspective, we're very focused um, on making sure that we have the, the right place and where people are excited about coming to work. And, and so, uh, I, I fully suspect that I'm going to be competing with John in the future um, and, and maybe even try to steal some ideas from him. So, uh, secondly, though, um, I, I also talked to Secretary Schultz this morning about workforce development. And, and really, I, I think what we need to do from a manufacturer's perspective, and I think Aaron and I have had a couple of side conversations on this is to create a uh, you know, consortium where we start to say what is the skill sets that we need in the future and how do we work together to help our university and community college systems to build those, uh, that curriculum out. And, and it's not just the cell and gene therapy technical resources. Uh, if you look at process mechanics, you look at instrument technicians, automation engineers, etc. Uh, a lot of them are aging out. They're getting to a point of retirement and there's not younger um, people coming behind them or getting to fill those jobs. And, they make good money, and, uh, and so frankly, I think there's a lot of opportunity for us to, to create, um, you know, that type of uh, educational uh, environment for those people. So.